weekly webinars, marketing insights, a glance at one of the world's leading business management software for martial arts businesses, and much, much more. This week has been a very busy week, as always, and our staff at The Nest HQ and from home are doing everything we can to help your martial arts business grow and stay ahead of the game. If you are interested in a specific subject coming up, make sure you do check out the timestamps in the description below. Just, just hit along here somewhere. However, stick around to the end of the video as the FAQ section might be of use to you this week. Of course, if you aren't already involved and you are a Nest client, be sure to join the Nest Management Community Group on Facebook and answer the security question as soon as you can, so then you can gain access straight away as there is always something being posted and it's a great way to communicate with like-minded martial artists within our continuously growing community. This week, webinars-wise, webinars-wise, yeah. I like that. Uh, we had on Wednesday our morning Miami training webinar uh, based on management, grading styles, belts, grades and reports. I know it's a lot, but hopefully um, everybody learned something new that uh, joined in. And in the afternoon, our marketing webinar, all about retention. Getting new students is great, but it's so important to make sure that you keep your existing ones too. There were some fantastic ideas talked about by fellow martial arts instructors and school owners. Next week's webinars on Wednesday are all about signing up new students and managing student records in the morning and strategy and goal setting in the afternoon. And on Thursday, our owners webinar all about ensuring your staff and instructors have the correct access levels to the MyMA system. Be sure to use all of these weekly webinars to your advantage as they are your chance to ask your questions to our expert team. To do so, of course, you can sign up via the marketing toolkit within MyMA. As a single point of contact for technology, tools and expertise, we here at Nest offer everything you need to grow your martial arts business. Planning is so important and that's why we have just the tools that can help you build a clear roadmap to achieve the goals that you want to reach. A great example of this is a social media content plan, making sure that you're focusing your efforts on the right places, keeping it simple and optimizing your social media profiles to their fullest potential. This is just one of many ways we can help boost your social presence. Earlier this week, I spoke to Joe over Zoom. Um, other video call services are available. Um, but let's see uh, what we spoke about then. Hello, Joe. How are Hello. you? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. It's good to see your video, of course, as always. <laughs> okay, so um, how I've got a couple of questions for you. But, um, you know, we've had some webinars in the past six weeks. We've done it on a rotation. And how do you think they've been for you and the clients, of course? Yeah, they've been really, really good. Uh, attendance has been great. We've had some good feedback throughout. Um, if you guys have attended the webinar and you haven't filled out our survey yet, please do. Uh, the feedback has said people think we're going above and beyond with the webinars. People say they've really helped a better understanding of Nest systems. Um, the feedback's been really, really good. So. If you haven't attended those, definitely book on. You can book on the next six weeks on the on the toolkit. So each week we have um, two webinars on the Wednesdays, right? And then we have like every two weeks, it's on a Thursday? Yeah, so every single Wednesday in the morning, there's a MIMA training webinar and in the afternoon, there's a marketing webinar. And then every other week on a Thursday, there is a webinar that is about MIMA training, but specifically for school owners. So it goes into a bit more detail. Uh, and then the first Monday of every month is the Business Booster Lounge, where um, Gerard and a guest will discuss sort of a, a broader topic, not necessarily directly linked to martial arts, but relevant to martial arts. So they're similar to the um, business boosts we used to, we used to have, which are you know like the the way that clients can get to meet other like-minded martial artists and things like that. Right? Exactly. Yeah. So after that, the um, there'll be. After the Monday session has finished, there is a chance to network with the martial artists on Zoom. Um, the first time we did it, we got some good feedback, but the feedback was that we weren't leaving people in the room for long enough. Um, we sort of did 10 minutes, so we're going to extend that now and people have a much longer uh, conversation because the value, value of these is, you know, um, as we said on the webinar on Wednesday, people on the mats doing this sort of stuff day to day, school owners have um, insight that we at Nest um, don't and to, to have that discussion with you know your peers is really really valuable so we will facilitate that conversation 
That's, that's brilliant. It's really good to to get to talk to someone that um, that might have an idea that you may have not even thought about, and then all of a sudden you're like, well, it makes complete sense. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And um, what are our most recent releases for marketing? So obviously we've got a few things coming up always, but uh, what's, what have we done recently? Well, recently uh, we put together some um, new landing pages. So you might have seen, I think we talked about it last week, that we had launched uh, a new themes for my MA websites uh, and a new way that you can easily incorporate that themes. And as part of that rollout, we are going to be adding more uh, landing pages that you can just easily drag and drop and the landing page is populated and you can just um, change the text and images. So because there's a lot of talk about summer camps now to um, supplement the promotional material and guidance and certificates um, and uh, you know summer camp schedules and things that we put out a few weeks ago, there are now landing pages where people will be able to book on uh, your summer camps or holiday camps because their six weeks holiday or I think it's five weeks holiday now is, is coming up in the next... Uh, next few weeks so it's best to get that ready now so for, for the for those that might not know what a landing page is what is what how does it work how, how would it work for that so a website is a series of pages that are sort of evergreen content um it's you know your um address your phone number your blog any sort of relevant news a landing page is a web page that has a really specific uh goal that you want the user to take so in this case it'll be booking in your summer camps you can have landing pages for special offers for your classes. Um, if you've got a Facebook only offer and you've got a landing page that isn't linked on your face uh, on your main website, and it's just trying to get people to take that specific uh, action. So we have some uh, summer club material. Um, mm -hmm. What is included in that material? What, what's, in, what's in there? So we have posters, leaflets, um, certificates for people who have finished, uh, you know, that aren't current students who have finished the summer uh, club. They'll get a certificate at the end of it. We have promotional materials like Facebook adverts. Uh, if you want to theme your Facebook page around your summer club, we've got covers and organic posts. Uh, we've got an email template to invite people in, uh, outdoor banners, roller banners, a schedule template so you can add your own uh, activities in there. And we've just added this week, Elliot, you made an excellent promotional video that has been added there. So that's um, to go alongside the Facebook graphics. We have a really slick video now to promote that. Brilliant. And um, what is happening next what what we're going to be working on and what's going to be releasing next well uh, a lot of the stuff that we're doing at the moment is to add to this toolkit the uh, marketing toolkit the library of promotional materials and guides and documents that you guys will have access to and one of the interesting things that came out of the webinars this week uh, was the idea of certificates because something tangible that the kids can have so we have sort of student of the week student of the month certificates after the conversation we had on wednesday we realized that we can expand the amount of certificates that we have available on my ma um, and we're planning to put together a plan make the designs and launch those in the next few weeks so keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on my ma yeah it was really interesting listening to what um other ideas everyone had and for example like there was like a, a listener of the of the day and and instead of doing it weekly some people did it daily right so it's yeah. fascinating i think really one guy that. was doing uh five certificates a day every day for his for his students to really churn through them and uh it's, it's a lot specific of work. attributes for each uh, you know each student because you know sometimes people might not be um the kids that are not necessarily really physical they might not be able to have a physical achievement but they might have listened really well or overcome something that week so i think that's the kind of thing that we are going to put our certificates forward um obviously the additional benefits around martial arts that we always list in our uh, copy and paste campaigns about um you know awareness and discipline as well as physical fitness and things like that um i think we need to create some certificates and some social posts around those topics so we'll be launching that I think it's a, a lot of work for the five for the five certificates. However, it was all about positive reinforcement, wasn't it? And and make sure that it's consistent with those things. And for example, as you say, like someone that might have been in the background, having that, oh, you were a great listener this week or today, you know, that they might not have thought that that's what they were. And you know, giving that positive reinforcement is really good for the kids, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. It's all part of the retention talk that we had on Wednesday. Yeah, really good, uh, really good stuff from the clients okay so one last question i have for you and uh, we have uh, later on in the video a uh, frequently asked question section um so what is a question that you get asked a lot that um that is, you think that someone might benefit from knowing the answer to um oh, okay it's something top of mind for me at the moment because i was reading i think i sent it to you elliot and some other people in the marketing team um one of the top guys at google was talking about um 
SEO speed tests. And we get questions saying, I put my site through this uh, SEO tool and it's saying that this error, this error, and this error has come up. Um, what do I need to do to fix it? And it was really interesting because we sort of we sort of give people advice saying these um, these things are more best practice. They're not necessary, um, and you can you should really only address them if you're having a problem with speed or a problem with not not ranking. Uh, and like the MyMA sites, we work hard to make sure they load in under four seconds. Most of them load in under two seconds. They're really really fast sites. Um, but this is one of the top guys at Google saying the exact same thing that we've been saying about. Um, the SEO tools might not give a full picture. Even Google's own tool about um, about speed um, speed of websites on mobile and desktop isn't giving the full picture. And maybe putting the fear into site owners that their site is not ranking because of some issues that are really inconsequential. So uh, we get a lot of questions about that, and it's good to know that uh, Google is getting the same questions, and you know we're both giving the same advice. So the the other side have the same issues as us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, well, is there anything else you can think of uh, that we want to mention to the clients or anything like that? I think we've covered the majority of what we wanted to say today. I think we have, yeah. Book in the webinars and please fill out the survey. Any feedback helps us refine the next uh, the next sort of six webinars that we're going to be doing. And these will be refined as we go along. So your feedback is really, really valuable. And of course, the, the clients that did come to the, um, the webinars previously can come back to the ones that we've had. Yeah, if you've missed one of the six or if you feel like you didn't quite fully understand uh, the topic, you can always come back. Uh, a couple of them, especially on the marketing side, uh, um, were more of a discussion. So you can always bring, you know, come to that discussion again. Uh, I think the MyMA training ones uh, are more specific. Um, this is how you use this. Once you've understood that system, you don't necessarily need to attend again. But, you know, you, you're always welcome. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Joe. Um, yeah, and we'll, we'll talk to you later. Thanks for that, gentlemen. Now, for this week's mini MyMA, we're talking about tags. So let's see what it's all about. On MyMA, within the Communications tab, you'll see Tags. Tags is a very useful and powerful tool. You can add different tags for an infinite number of uses, giving you ultimate control. Once tagged, you can use it for sending automated emails, triggers, and much more. It's time for our frequently asked questions section. That's hard to say. Each week, we'll have a question you might want the answer to. Of course, you can check out our FAQ section on our website here. Uh, but let's see what today's question is. question we sometimes get asked is how come a student can't log in to book a lesson? The answer is usually as simple as making sure that they have registered on the MyMA training site with the same email address that is on the MyMA system. A note I'd like to end on this week is all about celebrating the small wins. You've all been doing a fantastic job recently and each small win might not seem like anything but if you add up all those little wins, they make a big change. Keep doing what you're doing. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact us. Well, that's it from me. But as always, we'll see you next week. On my May, within the communications. <clears throat> Thank you. Weekly webinars, martial arts insights, in insights, martial arts insights, marketing insights. I forgot to record. We've all been, we've all been doing, you've all been doing, <laughs> we've all been doing a good job too. Cool. Cool. <laughs>